All right, well, here's this uh, latest uh, Stirling engine that I built to look at the power piston diaphragm arrangement. And the other ones that I've just finished building are using a piston in a glass cylinder, and they worked real good. But I wanted to go back and look at this thing here, which is the diaphragm technique using a thin latex uh, material and then um, using a low heat. This is a candle warmer. It's an electric candle warmer. puts out about 145 degrees, and this is just air temperature. And you notice I'm not even differentiating it uh, very well. It's just, just a tin can. There's no spacer between it, just a tin can, so the heat's just going right up. But there's enough difference in the air, which the air is about 72 degrees in here versus the 140 that it runs. Now, if I turbocharge it with these things, this is ice, you get quite a bit better performance out of it. And that's the way a Stirling engine should run, just like that. That's running correctly. The, the wheel's not in quite alignment, but it doesn't really seem to matter. But that's, that's a Stirling engine running, a Stirling engine running like it's supposed to. I think they call this as a beta. There's different models of it, but yeah, the uh, thing in the middle is pulling up a foam displacer. That's what the displacer is like. It's going up and down in that can being pulled by that wire. 30 gauge wire and then this is a diaphragm latex uh, stretched over a plastic lid glued and then with a rubber band on it then stuck to the, the can and what I found in this project was the dynamic of these throws is really critical on something like this if you don't have these right and the timing right the thing doesn't run hardly at all but this is how they're supposed to run That's a Stirling engine running like it's supposed to. Anyway, that's the latest of my little project here of these Stirling engines. It's been a lot of fun. I, I seem to be rather fascinating with this, just like the pulse motors. They're a lot of fun to play with. Thanks for watching.